to my channel. My name is Alice. I go by Hello Alice here on YouTube, and today I have a DIY for ya. So, Wonderlanders, hold on to your hats. Let's get started because I'm gonna be showing you how to make this brush roll! Roll in entrance, yay! So, yes, we are gonna be learning how to make this cute DIY brush roll from actually a kitchen towel or a tea towel, so no hemming involved, although there is some sewing. So if you want to know how to make this cute brush roll to store all of your art supplies, just keep watching. Let's get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the materials that you're going to need for this DIY. So the first thing is you need some fabric to make it out of, and we're going to be using tea towels or kitchen towels today because they are already hemmed, so that saves us some work, and they are a great size, plus they come in loads of fun colors, and um, if you get these, they're in a nice, thick fabric. Then obviously we're going to need to sew it together, so you're going to need some thread, and either a sewing machine or a needle. I'm going to be using my sewing machine because I have one, and that will be a lot faster. You're also going to want some pins and then either some chalk or a chalk pencil so that you can mark out your lines. You're also going to want some scissors, a ruler, and then some kind of string or ribbon. I'm gonna be using leather cord today. We're gonna to be using this to tie everything together at the end. So this is everything we need, so let's go ahead and get started on the DIY. You're going to want to place your fabric or your tea towel facing wrong side up down on your workstation. So this is the nice side, and it's facing down. You also want to have an idea of the kinds of things that you want to put in your brush roll. Some people like to put sketchbooks in there. I am going to be using it for brushes, so it's important to me that the brush roll is tall enough to safely accommodate my brushes and my pipettes. So I'm kind of laying out what I want on here so I can make sure that it's not too short, and then I'm folding this bottom half up. This is going to be what creates the pocket for all of these brushes. If you want, you can even create room for a sketchbook. If you're going to put in a sketchbook, I would recommend putting the pouch for the sketchbook at the end of the brush roll, and then it will kind of fold over like this. I've always wanted a brush roll with room for a sketchbook, so I am going to go ahead and make a area for my sketchbook. So this seems like a good height for what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead, take all of this out, and I'm gonna measure so that I can make sure that both ends are the same height, and then I'm gonna pin these edges. So this is six and a half inches, and I'm going to take my pins, and I'm going to pin down this edge. Now I'm just going to repeat that on the other side. So while I'm pinning this side, I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to add in the cord to tie this closed when it's all finished. So I'm using a strip of leather that I had lying around. You could use ribbon, string, whatever you like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the length of the tea towel. It's about 10 inches and I'm going to go halfway. So I'm going to go to the 5 inch mark. I'm just going to mark that with my pencil. And this is where I'm going to be inserting that cord. What I want to do is I want to sandwich it between the two layers of fabric so that when you sew over it, it creates a nice stable hold, I guess. So I'm going to go ahead and finish pinning, and then we're going to head on over to the sewing machine. So all you need to do is just sew up both sides. I'm also going to stitch over this part just a little bit more um, to make sure that it's really nice and secure. So I'm going to be using a zigzag stitch and because this is leather it's quite hard to stitch through. I'm actually going to be manually turning the needle. Okay, so after sewing the edges this is kind of where we are at. So we've got this giant pocket. So first thing we need to do is we need to trim off those excess threads. So I'm just going to take my scissors and trim off the excess threads. Okay, so once that is done, it is time to make the sections. 
so that all of our supplies will stay nice and neat and organized in our brush roll or sketchbook roll or whatever you want to call it. So obviously it is somewhat important to have at least an idea of what you want to keep in here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my travel kit and we'll kind of go from there. Okay, so I've gone ahead and sort of laid out my supplies that I want to be um, able to fit into this brush roll. I do think I'm going to have a section for a sketchbook, so I have put that in there. And now we're going to go ahead and mark out the dividers between the sections. So it's important to remember that you do need room not only for the width of the supplies, but also for the height of the supplies. As you can see, this takes up quite a bit of height, um, as does things like pens, pencils, all that. So I would say give yourself an inch on either side of how wide you want it to be to allow for that extra room. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my ruler and my chalk pencil to kind of start laying out where things are going to go. So this one is pretty easy because the sketchbook doesn't really move around so I can kind of put it in there and just trace a line right here. So after I've measured out this section for the sketchbook, I'm going to go ahead and see how much I have left total so I can kind of figure out what size each section is going to need to be. So I've got about 20 and a half inches left of usable fabric space and I have five sections that I want to incorporate. So I'm going to have four four inch sections and then the last one will be four and a half inches. So that's how I'm going to go ahead and divide this up. Once you have all of your sections marked out and you're happy with where they are, you're going to go ahead and take pins and pin each section. Once all of your sections are pinned, we are going to go head on over to the sewing machine and we're going to sew up each of these lines. Now, it's important to remember that when you hit this edge, you need to stop. Don't keep going. Stop at this edge. <laughs> you need to do is go ahead and start trimming off those last little threads that you have. If you'd like you could also decorate your brush roll with some buttons or some fun designs. You could do iron on letters to spell out your name. Whatever you'd like. If you want to do any more decorating to your brush roll go ahead and do that now but I am pretty happy with my brush roll as is. So I'm just going to go ahead and load it up. So that's it. You have created your very own brush roll. You can roll it up, take it out and you're good to go. Word of warning, don't be like me. If you decide to incorporate an area for a sketchbook, this area needs to be the first area that you roll so that it rolls like this. That means that you should not be like me and put the end of your string on the inside of your brush roll. That was my bad. So I'm going to go ahead and move this string and then I will show you all how it rolls up. Okay, so I cut that string off and I'm just going to wrap it around the brush roll. Um, but you can just roll it up like this. And you are good to go. All of your stuff is nice and safe. There's a bunch of different variations that you can do with this. Like I said, you don't have to um, incorporate an area for a sketchbook. If you don't, then it will roll up much tighter like this. And you'll have more of a pencil roll. Also, I made my pockets quite deep. That means that stuff does kind of sink into them. I made my pockets really deep because that's just how I like it, but you could make the pocket shallower. You could even have um, this top area be bigger so that it folds over and rolls in. Um, there's a bunch of different variations on this. Anything is possible. So yeah, go out and make your own brush roll and you will have a cute little brush roll that you can carry with you wherever you go. 
Okay, so I hope that you liked this fun DIY. I really enjoyed filming it. I love it. DIYs and I'm super psyched that I now have this cute floral brush roll. I'm just like, yeah, spring, come on, let's go. Anyway, um, if you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Post a comment down below, let me know what you thought. I would love, 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 love to hear from you guys. I do read all of my comments. And if you liked this video enough to want to subscribe, come join us, become a member of the Wonderland family. We have a lot of fun. We make art and hang out and eat a lot of pizza, so it's great. Um, so hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified. I do upload new videos every single Friday. And if you'd like to follow me on my social media, everything is at Hello Alice. I'll post that in the cornery area. I don't know if I'm pointing the right corner. It, it's down there, it's down there. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and as always, have a great rest of your day. Bye guys!